Last year, we helped a veteran. His name is Matthew Wetnall. Matthew Wetnall has made a lot of sacrifices for our country. I missed my first time being born. Two tours in Afghanistan, a year as a Ford observer, and then a year in combat, even surviving an IED blast. He has uh, stage four cancer, metastatic, which spread from his lungs to his brain. A golf ball sized mass on the back of his brain, another on his lung. He believes it started overseas, not from any violence, but from the air. But at this time, a year ago, when this news story ran, the VA denied any connection from his cancer to the burn pit. Getting help from the federal government is proving to be a new kind of warfare. The Department of Veterans Affairs says it is studying burn pits and potential long-term health effects. But right now, the agency doesn't acknowledge a connection. They were paying most of their medical bills from their pocket. Organizing and structuring every bit of detail that I need to know who can help. The family's kitchen table, now the command center for this whole new conflict. They wanted us to rip up their rugs because he was having problems with his asthma. And I don't even know if that's something that they would cover in general. So it was an easy project for us to do just for some relief. Safest and most efficient way to get rid of trash at war is in a burn pit. But those burning batteries, mortar rounds, jet fuel, even human waste give off toxic fumes. Evidence shows is sickening America's brave.